Hey guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender and this one I'm gonna be talking about aligning cutters in Blender in edit mode with box cutter. So in solid mode what you can do is uh, go to shift V menu and you can select here which you know alignment you would like to go with. So local is gonna go with the local uh, orientation and rotation. So if I rotate the cube, right, it's gonna follow the local rotation. Uh, but if I, uh, let's say, gonna add an edge in here like this diagonally, right, it will not align to this edge. So I need to change alignment to nearest edge, okay? Uh, or longest edge, it depends on which edge is actually longest or nearest, it really depends, right? So now, the way Box Cutter calculates the length of the edge is the edge that's not been cut through. So in our case, this uh, edge going across this face is gonna be the longest edge on the cube, but if I'm gonna slice this in half, right, like this, it will no longer be the longest edge, okay? However, in edit mode, it works a little bit differently because with nothing selected, you can see that it doesn't matter what kind of orientation I'm in, right? It just doesn't work. So what you need to do in edit mode is select a, uh, a given edge and then you're gonna be able to be, uh, you know, to align yourself to that edge, okay? So this is a really cool way of very quickly, uh, you know, aligning yourself to even very custom edges. So if I'm gonna grab a knife and I'm gonna, you know, cut something like this here, I can very easily align myself to a select edge, okay? So there you go, guys, quick tip. Now I wanna talk to you about, um, um, serious. Now I wanna talk to you about something that Master Z and released on Gamut and Blender Market. And uh, it's a um, tip brush for box cutter. It's really good, it's only 10 bucks, so I suggest you go ahead and get it. And, um, there are like almost 100 videos over there, okay? And the cool thing about these videos is that unlike most of the videos of uh, Master Zeon on his YouTube channel, which are very long, and the videos over there are really short, okay? Some of them are literally like 30, you know, 36, 40 seconds. The longest one are probably up to like maybe four or five minutes. And there is one really long, it's about one hour where, where you can learn how to create a solenoid. But there is a tons of really useful tips and tricks over there. Uh, you know, I've been using box cutter for, uh, for two years now and I've been using it every day uh, for, you know, uh, countless hours so i still managed to learn something i didn't know so i really highly recommend these videos uh, so go ahead on gamroad and blender market uh, check out his uh this product and uh, you know um buy it just support the guy support the team c because um you know they're creating amazing tools for us and every single update is free so i think we should just you know uh, as a gesture um purchase this and even if you learn a few tips, even if you're really proficient at box cutter, I still think that you're going to probably find something that you didn't know about. So anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.